can have anything you want, if you want it badly enough. You can be anything you want to be, do anything you set out to accomplish, if you hold to that desire with singleness of purpose. I always have a car anyway, a nice car, and I don't know. Just last week I was collecting the social welfare, you know what I mean? Out into the UFC, I don't know what, blah, 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 but now I suppose I'm just gonna have to tell them to fuck off. <laughs> Unbelievable. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Dana, 60 G's, baby! Maybe, I don't know, the Irish people might understand more. A, a, young, a young boy dreaming of putting on the Irish jersey or, or yeah, dreaming of putting on his, his favourite football team's uh, jersey and that crest and lifting that cup, you know, this, this is my crest. These gloves right here, these UFC gloves, you know. To be the first, man, to be the first Irish man to put these on, to lace these up and, and get in and do the job, uh, honestly. No one can take that away from me, no matter what. I'm good, honestly, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I don't care about nothing else. I don't know about nothing else, you know what I mean? Don't even listen to it. If I start talking about something else, just don't listen, don't just, I'm talking shit. But if I talk about this, if I talk about unarmed combat, if I talk about the human anatomy, you know what I mean? The way the human body moves, then listen. I'm a professional MMA fighter with a record of four and one. Um, I'm an up and coming fighter and without a doubt you will see me on the UFC in the in near future. against his. It's not step to here. Here. I want someone to be in the UFC and everyone laughed at me saying, no one from Ireland goes to UFC and I said, well, you might be happy being training somebody to be the best in Dublin. And I said, that's not my goal. My goal is to produce a UFC champion. Not a UFC fighter, a UFC champion. I don't care. I always saw as a, not only a possibility, but an inevitability that I was going to be at that level. We've arrived. People know. It's only getting started. It's part sport, but it's also part entertainment. It's a case of finding the right balance between training and promotion, because you have to do both. He comes down, gets me to flip a tire that I never flip. I don't even flip a tire. Now, now they say, you know, I'm on the front of the Daily Mail flipping tires. 
this is the place where it happens. This is the place where the champions are made, and these kind of run down places. When the door closes in the cage, it's not it's not a strength and condition workout. You, it's not who can do the most pull-ups or who can do the most fucking squats. Like if I was to wake up in the morning and say, like, okay, you can either do strength and conditioning or you come down and do 10 rounds with someone. I'm gonna do the 10 rounds every yeah. time. It's great news that BT Sport have signed a deal. Get out of there, you as well. Look at this trying to wrap me up. It's great news that uh, BT Sport have signed a deal with Satante for the UFC TV rights. It means Irish fans can watch me on 7th of August in Boston and every single one of my fights as I climb my way up the division and become the first Irish champion. It's a good one, that. Right. This hat's me um, granddad's hat. I have it literally since I started combat sport. He died and left left a few things and one of the things he used to always wear was these hats. And look, look at this. I have it literally 10 years I'd say and it's been in every gear bag. I only just bought that bag over in Portugal so transfer it over. I sometimes forget it's even in there, you know what I mean? But it's just been in every single bag that I've ever had for the past 10 years. Like, See, I wanted to see as well, like, what is expected of you? Because fear to fight, I have It says it on ridiculous. the contract. Did you read it? I read how much I'm getting paid and a little bit. <laughs> now, what I said to them was, is that if we're going to Canada on the 8th and then Vegas the following day, maybe stay in Vegas for a week. Train tra Train for a week because it's a lot of traveling to do. Fucking right. So we're going to Vegas Canada. now, yeah? It's going to be like the hangover part four. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to Vegas last minute. Canada and then Vegas. That's nuts. Training is the fun part, you know. You love training. Training is great. It's the diet that's hard. So you have three weeks before each fight, three fights a year. So that's nine nine weeks of the year that you have it tough. It's not a bad life if you think about it, you know what I mean? I don't know where he gets the talent from. There was no real great boxers and or fighters in my family. Apart from McGregor, uh, we were outlawed <laughs> to, to the hills in Scotland, you know, so there's obviously fighting blood in our DNA. That's all I can say. <laughs> the talent doesn't come from me, anyway. <laughs> I was trying to do it, but I can't do it. You can do the back one. I can do the back. Show the back one. The back one is like the capoeira. Bang! Isn't it? I'm literally going in three days to Vegas. No way! To Canada and then to Vegas. <laughs> First they said Belfast. Right. And they're like, I don't know. A big jump from Belfast <laughs> to Las Vegas. I know, I can't go to Oh, sorry, not Belfast. We meant Canada. <laughs> Well, if I'm in Vegas, you can just have. Well, I don't really want to give give her the beamer because she's a bad driver. I'm not. You're a I'm bad driver. I'm a bad driver. <laughs> I do get nervous, definitely, but it's it's exciting, and I see what Connor puts into the train, and I know how hard he works. So it's it's kind of he's never going to lose, you know, in my eyes, anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> Connor go training up in Rack Kill till about 10. When SBG was up in Rack Kill, he used to go till about 10. We just drive home, listen to music, and Connor would be saying, Look, one a day, yeah. A dream. One day, and here we are. Yeah, it's great, it really is.
Oh, this is a good one as well. If you limit your choices only to what seems possible or reasonable, you disconnect yourself from what you truly want, and all that is left is a compromise. Some good shit. Jerry Maguire, do you? Yeah, Fuck Jerry Maguire, yeah? This is this is this is the real Jerry Maguire. <laughs> well I appreciate that, brother. This is one thing I was actually concerned about with you, right? Yeah. When you get thrown into the slime, everybody's your friend. Yeah. Nobody wants to tell you yeah. the truth. Sometimes that gets you an inflated view of yourself and an unrealistic view of reality. Yeah. When that's gone, athletes it's a sad thing. Yeah, it's a yeah, real yeah. sad thing. They'll turn on you like this. Yeah. It's a what have you done for me yeah. lately business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah it, people, people definitely get comfortable. But one thing, I, one thing I do good is not get comfortable. Good. I have a nation behind me. You know what I mean? I know, I know like Dane and all the guys. Yeah, they going for this meal with Dane. Who the fuck comes? What, what fighter comes to Vegas after having one fight in a prelim and gets to go for a meal with the, with the boss man? You know what I mean? But that doesn't happen. You know what I mean? So, but at the end of the day, I know it's not. It's business at the end of the day. I'm gonna own this town one day, yeah? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Thank you so much. Oh, look at that, that things are down, John. That was good time, I was saying, wasn't it? King of Dublin, the notorious Conor McGregor. <laughs> oh shit. Because I fell in there, I had a little horsey. <laughs> I think what, what, what he has the potential to do is be a superstar, you know, not only in Ireland, but around the rest of the world. And, you know, there's been a lot of great fighters who've come out of Ireland in the past, and I think he has the potential to be one of those guys. That's good as well. Yeah, I see the shadow. <laughs> you got some like happy, lighthearted stuff too, right? <laughs> Fuck that. Forget that stuff. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty cool. light. Yeah, my beard is getting nice and thick, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, you fucked, it looks up, you fucked up trimming it. Nice one. <laughs> I've been thinking of dyeing it and everything just to make it more. I'd love to just have a big yeah. problem where I don't think I can do it. Four weeks away from Connor's next fight against um, Max Holloway. He's not used to how the guys here move, and of course, in the fight, you're not going to be used to how your opponent moves. So, training in different places teaches you to adapt to different movement very quickly. Happy with how he looked. Everything is everything's come together. So we got one more training session tomorrow, and then we head back to Ireland. Again, I don't really think about my opponent. Hey, hey, if he looks like my opponent or strikes like my opponent, I just, I just spar with whoever's there. You know what I mean? I don't really think anything. about submissions, you, you do them 100%. I says, yeah, it's obviously a tap, you know. We're not gonna let ourselves get damaged in training, but that's the good thing about submissions, that you can go 100% without getting hurt, whereas with striking, you have to be more sensible because 
you don't want to get, you don't want to knock people out, put them out of training for a long time. But as grappling, you go for. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, man. What's your name? Jason. Jason, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Like every two, three months, I would travel somewhere. And now that I have the opportunity to do that, I'm going to travel as much as I can. Of the way, and here's some notes on Connor. He's the only UFC featherweight who has yet to go to a decision. Uh, McGregor has 12 career knockout wins. Incredibly, nine of them have come against opponents who have never been KO'd. With a win over Max Holiday, Connor McGregor will have won 10 bouts in a row. The sky's the limit for you, Connor. Yeah. You have great skills on the mic. Yeah. You have great skills inside the octagon. Yeah. And, and I think people have, are naturally gravitating to you. Dublin, sunny Dublin. I'm looking forward to get back seeing my girlfriend, my dog, my f little family I have. You know what I mean? Um, and then, of course, getting back training. Getting back into my own little s setup, you know, looking forward to seeing all the guys again <clears throat> and going at it. Finishing off the, the finishing touches for August 17th. Get ready, get the weight down. Not looking for this big ass flight, but. tune in to see me whoop ass or are you gonna wanna tune in to see me get my ass whooped but you're gonna wanna <laughs> tune in <laughs> I look forward to the day when I'm old and I, you know what I mean, get to eat what I want and become fat, you know what I mean, just be happy, you have a little happy fat guy. Uh, cockiness and a bit of a celebrity swagger about him, yeah, yeah. Have you noticed anything, Tiffany? <laughs> no, not really, just same as normal, just, I, I think he just takes it in his stride. I, I, oh, he I, does take it in his stride as well, but you know, there is a sort of other persona, the celebrity. But he persona, likes you know? it, he likes the attention. But who wouldn't like it? You know? in, and that's, that's good, like, yeah. and he knows how to play as well, so. When Tony and Connor were having their arguments over the fight, I used to get really upset and all, I'm saying, like, you know, because they just totally disagreed on And uh, Tony was like, wasn't having a bar, but wasn't a proper job, and the usual. But then when he went to a fight, I, I said to him, want, they had actually had a huge argument one time and I was really upset over it. And uh, I, he said, well, I'll go and see his fight. And after that, I think he realised this was that. And they actually get on a lot better than they did. Oh, yeah, I eat humble pie every day of the week. Absolutely. And I'm happy to eat humble pie. I mean, as a father, yeah, absolutely, I'm happy. I mean, I would, I'm glad that Connor is able to tell me, if he was to say, you are wrong, every day in my life, I'd be happy to, say, to accept that than me rather tell him he's, he's been wrong once in his life, you know. So, ah, oh, yeah, I, I eat humble pie every day of the week. Lap it up, man, yeah, I love it. A bowl, I have actually bowls of humble pie in here, look. There's millions of here, look, it's all there. Humble pie all over the place. <laughs> Hello, that's all. Where are you? Yeah, I'm just on the M50, yeah? I swear to God, I'm just coming onto the M50 now, we're down in five minutes. What? The radio's broken, Martin. <laughs> I'm at the garage, I'm just at the phone that the garage get touched up. I'm in Lugan. Fucking, um, I'm gonna spawn more champions, yeah? My offspring. It's not yet. I'm still becoming a world champion myself. Here, take that. Listen, we bought this for you anyway. We saw this in the shop. 
Muhammad Ali versus Sonny Liston. First round knockout. It's a 3D picture. Oh, Take off the cellophane and let's see what's like. What's in that? Can you see that in 3D? Oh, that's deadly, isn't it? What do you think, this one or this one? Collars up or collars down? Yeah, I don't know how you stick these in. I'm still only a little rookie. Still only a beginner at sticking these things in. You know what I mean? I'm only getting the hang of it. Who's that? Me again. Joe's that picture there from old. I want to show Jer. What picture? The Muhammad Ali versus Sonny Liston. It is dead, isn't it? There's not many of those now, you know? No, that's brilliant. And also, the last place where you think you'd get that, in the garden centre. Yeah. Can you believe it? Shades, no? Too much? Maybe? What are they? Pair of shades? Too much? No shades. <laughs> See, most people say, no, that's too much. She's like, no, shades on. Much. It's never too when much. When it's too much, that's how you know you're not in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Bit over the top, am I? <laughs> it's not. It's not even my Christmas. Hang it, Jim. Thinking about fucking shades, camera crew, a tree strong camera crew. It's a bit much, maybe, but fuck it. Uh, where's he going? See, where's he? Welcome to Vegas, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I like that. All the tiki and all the, all the shades and everything. I felt like fucking I was unbelievable it was, yeah? Surreal. I swear to God, I went home. When it was all said and done, went home, done a walkout. That night, done a, just because, yeah, because walk. Yeah, 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 and I've been yeah. walking ever since. Yeah. <laughs> In any athletic uh, discipline, you don't want any, any slow movement. That's just, that's what we call all show, no go, like this. You don't want that as a fighter. You don't want big arms as a fighter. You want fast, explosive arms, so. Aye. Three, Aye. two, four. Weight training, if, if you train a certain way, will increase his body weight, which again will take him up his weight class. We want to improve his pound for pound as strong as he possibly can be. He's already as fast as he can be, so a little bit more strength. So that can be even better. There you go. Four. Three. Two. And there. Good picture, eh? Yeah. You want to employ uh, your own stylist, man, you know? It's getting like that now. I'm going to dress myself. And uh, send them then over to me. See if you can do a job on me. <coughs> See that? So everything gets in the way of training as well, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Mike? See the kiss me on the cheek. Right, go. All right. You haven't got a pen by any chance on you, do you? That you can spare? You can. If you ever heard the real public speaking, Yeah. Put a pen in your mouth, or something in your mouth, like a fucking yoke, yeah. and then start talking. It makes my tongue work more. Right. So when I take this pen out, my words are clear and precise. <laughs> Fuck that. But now when I talk, if uh, I tell you what it works, but yeah, you know, words are more clear or something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here, you know, representing Ireland in the sport of mixed martial arts and in the great promotion, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. I still show up at the gym. I still, I don't do too much, you know, I don't do too much other than show up at the gym, go get some food, go back to the gym and go home. That's my life. Your true passion should feel like breeding. It's that natural. Guess who said it? Oprah.
Nine rounds of hell. <sighs> Nine rounds of hell. Fresh guy every round. Heavier each round. That's not easy. Last person wanted to be getting tired against him. <laughs> He's vicious. <laughs> no one goes easy here. Everyone wants to win, you know what I mean? From round one to round fucking the end. Like I said, I'm the only one that's been making some money so far. All these other guys are broke still. Want to make some money. Want to get in there and whoop me. And whoop each other. Prove that they're ready. Prove to their... And it's nothing personal. It's to prove to their mind that they are ready. You know what I mean? This, this is the name of the game. This isn't, this isn't for three weeks, this isn't for eight weeks. This is for life. Come in and be experimental, be creative. That's what it's all about. Do shit that hasn't been seen before. You know what I mean? Look at this swim, swim on. That's walk right there, yeah? Zoom in on that. He was born with this like this. And the, the um, midwife said to me, the first words was, oh my god, he's gonna be a fighter. The anxious fists were stuck to his face like this. I just said to him, it's a rain, he never took a picture the day he was born, because it was really like I'm ready for action. So it's all systems go. Boston next stop. Mm -hmm. This is the big one as well. See you, son. Oh, yeah, yeah. See you, love you, love right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Right. You know, they slave away for months painting right. and then you have an exhibition. Ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah. It's, it's an yeah. exhibition, right? It's already right. So they just enjoy Exactly. I mean, an artist sits back and likes to see the, the uh, reaction of people to it. Something about McGregor. Badass, man. Are you kidding me? A lot of guys have the will. He's on a nine fight win streak. It's knocking people up left and right. A lot of guys have, you know, the athleticism. The people's main event, and he is going to steal the show this Saturday. The creativity. But he's got all three. Dude's the man. What more can you say? But he's got a freaking challenge with Max Holloway. You know, he ain't no, no chump. And if you're kind of you're not afraid of the spotlight, but uh, I feel like there's been so much given to you. If you don't go out there and win this thing in like 25 seconds, you're gonna somehow uh, not have done what you were supposed to do. So, what's your take on all the attention that you've had this week? Um. Not, not much, you know, there's two things I really like to do and that's whoop ass and look good and I'm, I'm, doing, I'm, doing, I'm doing one of them right now and Saturday night I'm going to do the other. When I, when I went to Ireland for that Trinity College thing, all I heard about was Conor McGregor. I'd never heard of the kid before. And, uh, you know, I went out there and there was a ton of hype behind him before he even got here. And this is a big fight with two, two badass up and coming guys. This is going to be a great fight. Yeah. He's going to steal the show! <laughs> fear. <clears throat> I definitely thought there was a little bit of fear in there. But he seems like a nice kid, you know what I mean? Really, like, he seems like an article. Like, I don't. But um, I don't think he's going to want to be in there after the first minute. Kid from Dublin traveling around, seeing the world. As John says, we float around, experience new movements, eat new food, and study martial arts. You know what I mean? The life. That's fresh. <laughs> That's fresh. <laughs> it's me escape. Combat is my escape. Training is my escape from my normal life. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? They don't combine. My dad or my ma or anyone doesn't know I haven't got to deal with anything in the gym, doesn't know anyone in the gym, doesn't know anything. And that's perfect, that's what I want. Don't want them to combine. Maybe it's a weird thing that I'm like, I don't know why I'm like this, but I am. Ugh. To accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream. Not only plan, but also believe. Keep looking there, shake them out for me. Pound your fists. Do a little stretch. You need a minute of that, so just keep going through. Chin down a little bit. There you go. Just for a second.
gentlemen, Max Holloway and Conor McGregor. be a bag of nerves. Definitely be a bag of nerves. Yeah, I'm kind of okay now, but tomorrow it'll be like, you know, and then I, I'd be happy when it's over because I can speak to him now. Can't really talk to him now because he's, he's in a zone of not wanting to talk to anybody, especially me. Attraction. Some good shit. Some good little quotes and all like that. I, I, I like reading. No, it's just grab one. Anyway. Constant repetition carries conviction. Some good shit, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to decorate the gym with these. This is what I'm saying. These books are full of them. I, I, I really like when I, when I read quotes and shit, I like take from them and just put my own thing to it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Say, say it in my own way. Yeah, say it what way I'm at the scene.
himself on expanding his arsenal constantly. Always mixing it up with boxing technique, Muay Thai. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Taking on that man, 21-year-old Max Holloway, and it'll be interesting to see how Holloway responds. Say shades of Gunnar Nelson, but just a great fluidity with Conor McGregor. It was hard to beautiful as well as well. are going great. Let's get on the toes a little bit. Let's get our feints going. And then with the hands. But the kicks are beautiful. Last round. Good job. More water? A little bit. Okay. That feels great. You look beautiful. You look beautiful, man. All right, here we go. Get him on the fence. Get him to miss at the right. Put him away at the left. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, the notorious Conor McGregor. I'm lost for words. I wanted to keep it standing and put him away. In the second round, I caught a kick, and he caught my leg in an awkward position, and my whole knee just popped out midway through the second round. I'm not happy I didn't get the finish, but midway through the second, I got that injury. You must improvise, adapt, and overcome, because anything can happen inside this octagon. So. Conor McGregor, your unique cat, and the hype is deserved, sir. Oh, Can't wait to see you again. Conor McGregor, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Thank you brother. And that flag of Ireland. Congrats. That's all right. Well, no, it's good. Hey, you won. Yeah, I mean, Never you apologize for so when he wants to come in. Yeah, you won. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 yeah. Wobbling, so I had to go to take it and change it up. Normally, shit I don't do, man. Appreciate but for you, lethal weapon. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Congratulations. Yeah. It's an honor for me as well to come here, and uh, this is like fighting at home for me, and you know, but really, really, I don't, I don't give a shit. It feels like a loss to me, to be honest. I wanted, I wanted to finish, you know. I felt the finish was there for me, and. I injured my knee midway through the second and I just can't get it out of my head, but looking back, I should have just pulled my knee from my leg and hit him with it, you know what I mean? That's, that's what it I'm going for the finish and I'll, I'll look to hit him with any part of my body, any limb I have, I'll swing it. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm looking to do, so I don't know, fuck it. <laughs> just two quick ones for Dana, just from what Connor said there, uh, after his debut in Sweden. Uh, what's up, lads? Are you? Crash. <laughs> oh, that was unbelievable. I mean, I never felt felt so relaxed. He never had nothing for me. No, I don't think any of them have anything for me. I honestly felt so comfortable. I could have went 50 rounds. I really could have went 50 rounds in there. But there was a lot of I, I made I made mistakes. Although I had the injury, I still I still have like 65 million things that that I pick from it. You know what I mean? That I want to. I'm looking forward to getting back. It was right here. John reckons four to six weeks. So that's not too bad, but I can... That's where I popped, but I can feel all fluid in here. Right in here. Nerve wrecking. I get, I'm actually getting worse, I found, as they go on. I thought I'd get better, but I'm actually not. Um, but it's funny, cos... It's actually no different. It, that's what we were just saying the day before we went down. It feels like we're in a hotel in like that Kenny or Derry or something when you right. used to fight on the small. There's no different. No different. Same emotions. Uh, same same day, same thing. We do the same thing. Chill out. Don't do anything different than we would have done. But um, 
seeing all the people and all, I get a little bit overwhelmed. <coughs> the grand ass hat, remember standing up the hat? Was tennis with the Still here, still rocking along. Comes with me to all them. It's been with me fucking since I started training. How do you feel after that? How's your name? Steady. Yeah, you can pay me. Yeah, I have to I actually have can't strength. Come on. Is it strapped up now at the moment? Let's have a little wrap on. I'm gonna have to get an x-ray when I go up to LA, but it's swollen now. I'm just taking anti damages. What was it like coming out with all the flags and all? Yeah, it was brilliant. Amazing. Did you see it? Remember me looking up? Yeah. I saw it as well. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, the whole time in the lane. I went out looking. You were never in danger, anyway. You know? I felt fresh. Oh, and you brought a new skill set to that, that we didn't see the fans. I mean, the yeah. fans love the left hook. The fans love to see that big finish, you know. I was in LA just focusing on my rehab, getting getting back to fitness. And now I'm home here now for two weeks and another two weeks. Gonna go out tonight, celebrate, haven't been home, haven't seen my, my friends around, you know what I mean, haven't seen anyone. Dana tweeted out, Conor McGregor out for 10 months, torn ACL, torn MCL, torn all sorts of torn. I mean, watch this. You go, you go and find me someone that's less than 8 weeks over an ACL surgery that can squat that deep. I'm a freak. I'm a specimen of movement. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? Got a bag for each shoe. No, no fucking about now, boys. Yeah. Look, here's where it happened. Yeah. I'm passing. I, I've basically passed this guard. Yeah. I'm into side control. Into one more down. Look at the, look at his approach. He's just holding on. That's where I should have stayed. Yeah. Because my foot is out there. And with this foot, I should have kicked off his top foot or his knee, and it would have slipped out. But I kind of bring this foot back. I kind of bring it back as if I'm going to go across that way. Ah! 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 Fuck me, that's nasty. Look at the way it's going, it's going that way. Oh man, how the fuck, I never even stopped it that much. That is crazy, look at my whole legs just, this, just, man. Let's, let's go slow. Um, bang, pop, into side control. You might be a better kickboxer, you might be a better wrestler, you might be a better grappler, you might be a better boxer. But I have an answer, you know what I mean? I have an answer for everything. Right, let's go and, let's go and party. Right, see you guys, eh? Where's that jacket If that doesn't make you want to hit the gym, nothing will. Well, the Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are at the end of the day, and they're going Next, another notorious guy deals with not one, but two Watsons and a diamond heist in elementary. Yeah.